Hey everyone, thanks for watching Yankee Stacking. We are now over $2,700 an ounce for gold. Over $33 an ounce for silver. Woo, I am so glad that I have been stacking precious metals. I hope you are too. But I'm not done. Mm -mm. I am still converting more of my fiat currency into both gold and silver. In this video, I'm going to talk more about gold, although I am super excited about silver, uh, because I have a brand new gold stacking target I want to share with you today. In fact, I've been a little tepid about this gold for a while. I've even steered some other stackers away from it before, but things have changed, especially with regards to its premium over gold's spot price. And well, it, it got me, <laughs> all right? Uh, and for my new subscribers, thanks so much, by the way, for subscribing. Let me take a few minutes to just, just review where I'm at with my gold stack, my total ounces, and what I have historically stacked pretty hard. Then I'll show you this, okay? <laughs> this is the latest gold I'm building my next coin tube with. So please watch to the very end because I do have a bonus gold target I wanna share with you as well. So with this last purchase, I am now at 73.78 ounces of gold, by the way. I'm also over 3,000 ounces of silver. But my buy ratio with silver and gold has stayed roughly the same all year long. That is 200 to 1. In other words, for every 200 ounces of silver, I convert some of my fiat currency into one ounce of gold, like this gold eagle here. And most of it, it's been, you know, bullion gold coins, like the American gold eagle, Mm, the Yankee Cannon. I love the Gold Eagle, but I also love the Buffalo, the one ounce gold Buffalo. In fact, in my opinion, this is the most beautiful gold coin to come out of the U.S. Mint, uh, at least, you know, still coming out of the U.S. Mint today. I love the Gold Buffalo. I also have one ounce foreign gold coins from mints all around the world because you know, I love to have a few of those like this Britannia, but because my state of New Hampshire borders them and the premiums are much better than most fractional gold coins, I like this right here, the one quarter ounce gold maple leaf. This is the uh, smallest fractional gold that I like to stack. By the way, you can check out a video where I rank the top 10 one ounce gold coins to stack. I'll put the link in the description below, but the next category of gold that I started stacking recently was gold bars. I love this gold Britannia bar, one ounce. We've got another one right here from SD Bullion, a one ounce gold bar. I also have this right here, 10 gram Argo Horaeus gold bar. I'm, I'm not a big gold bar stacker because these aren't what I will likely barter with. They're just gonna sit there in my vault and store my purchasing power. Now for my latest gold stacking target. Check it out. This is the first time I've seen it. An 1896 $20 gold Liberty head, pre-33 gold. Now this one was graded XF, extremely fine, but I really don't care. It could have been graded very fine or just good. I don't wanna stack expensive, high-grade slabbed gold coins, no. Now, there are many types of gold coins originally meant for circulation as real money before 1933, like the St. Gaudens, the Indian head, and of course, the Liberty Head I have here. I like the Liberty Head because they tend to be the cheapest. And you don't just have to get, you know, a $20 gold piece. They do come in other denominations. I have three other $20 gold pieces here. Put those down here. But I also have these. These are $10 gold Liberty Heads. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Now, there are some pros and cons with pre-33 gold. First, the cons. These can be faked, especially if they have a rare date. That's why you need to ping them. 
to make sure that they're real. Listen to this. Wow, that is beautiful. Mm, I love it. This one's real. Now, the second con might be that, you know, they're 90% gold. This $20 Liberty is not a one troy ounce gold coin. So you need to be very careful how you're measuring their cost in dollars. I'll get to that in a second. But first, the pros. They are highly trusted, recognizable, and beloved for their history, just like constitutional silver. These were, you know, circulated. People touched them. You can too. And the third reason, the most recent reason, is that their premiums have dropped. I think they're much more reasonably priced now than they were when I started stacking in 2009, the uh, Yankee Cannon here. The premium on this gold coin, for example, was just 2.5%. And it would have been a lot lower if I hadn't gone with the XF. But that's still half of my gold stacking limit of a 5% premium. Just remember, this is not a full troy ounce of gold. It's actually 0.9675 troy ounces. So to calculate your premium over spot, take the dealer's price and divide it by 0.9675. That'll give you the cost per troy ounce. Then you can see if it's really worth buying. Now, I bought that gold Liberty just before the recent run-up in gold price. I got it from SD Bullion. However, I'm still seeing these low premiums online. It seems like as the spot price keeps going up, the premiums on these keep coming down. Are you seeing the same thing? Would you consider stacking pre-33 gold? If so, then maybe I can entice you with this next gold target. No, it's not something to stack physically to preserve your wealth. It's something to possibly speculate in to build some wealth. It's Rua Gold. They're sponsoring this portion of the video. But before you click away to watch some cat video, let me just say that the last gold mining company I told you about three weeks ago almost doubled in price in just one week after I dropped my video. Yep, up 93% in seven days. I got emails from some of you thanking me, so you're welcome. Now, I'm not going to promise Rua Gold's going to double your money in a week. No one knows. But the way gold keeps hitting all-time record highs, I wouldn't be surprised. And, and just as that prior junior miner I profiled had some big news attached to it, Rua Gold has some big news too. I'll share it with you in just a minute. But first, I got to give you my normal disclaimer. Yeah, you know what it is. This is not investment advice. Do your own research. Don't just buy this stock because I'm sharing it, blah, blah, blah. But it, it is important. Okay, that is really, really, really true. So please do your own research here. But I've been watching Rua Gold since March of 2021. That's over three years ago. I know them quite well. And I think Rua Gold is now a great play. Why? Well, for one, gold legends like Eric Sprott. I mean, you must know who Eric Sprott is, right? He's a self-made billionaire in this space, and he is a Rua Gold investor. Peter Marone, he's the founder and former chairman of Yamana Gold, which was sold for $4.2 billion. He's a Rua Gold investor. Oliver Lennox King, you don't know that name? Well, he was the former chairman of Frontier Gold, which was sold to Newmont for over $2 billion. He's the chairman and the largest shareholder of Rua Gold. These are legends and they've all bought in hard. Here's another reason why. The amazing land package. See, Rua Gold is drilling right now in an area with some of the highest grade gold anywhere on the planet. Rua Gold owns four past producing mines in New Zealand's South Island in an area called the Reefton Goldfield. I love that word, Goldfield. Wish I could visit that someday. That area has historically produced 900,000 ounces of gold at an average of around 20 grams per ton. Now, that might not sound like a lot. I mean, you know, 20 little grams and a whole ton of earth, but that is 20 times the global production grade of just one gram per ton. 20 times. 
and they're located near highways, a power grid, rail, and shipping routes. These are all major pluses for me. However, these past producing mines have been frozen in time for decades. Why? Well, mostly due to some crazy anti-mining laws put in place by woke environmentalists and bureaucrats. But all that's changing now. New Zealand has totally transformed its political landscape, 180 degrees. And it's not just mining friendly, it's pro-business. Check out this brief clip from New Zealand's Minister of Resources. Today, industry sees the long-term consequences of the shallow emerald mannequin thinking that's driven energy policy for the last five or six years. That side of the house with chilling, chilling effect, stopping investment, scaring overseas existing investors away and destroying industry in New Zealand. And for what? Today, industry throughout New Zealand is confronted by the fact as a consequence of that juvenile, woke-riddled, foolish belief that we don't need our natural resources. They're making mining great again down there in New Zealand, and I love it. Finally, timing. It's everything, right? Well, Rua Gold raised 8 million Canadian in July at a valuation of just 18 cents a share. That price hasn't budged even by one cent from what institutions and all of the company insiders paid for their shares. And they've been down 27% since May, but buy low, sell high, right? I think gold's relentless climb to record highs is likely to catapult Rua Gold very soon. Now, I told you that there was some hot news about Rua, right? Well, while Rua owns four of those past producing mines, there are other amazing land packages in that region they've had their eyes on, specifically Siren Gold, owners of three other land resources. In July this year, they announced their intention to purchase all the land in this greenfield that Siren Gold currently owns. This is gonna give them control of over 95% of the region. And this transaction is set to close in just a couple of weeks. This is massive news, people. Now, it's not just Rua that sees this opportunity. There have been other interlopers, if you will, trying to get in on the deal, but they've failed. So the next steps are to drill baby drill, hit a mother load, possibly consolidate with a final landholder named Federation, and then sell it all to another resource holder in the area, Oceana Gold. That's the name of the game, guys. That's Rua Gold's business model. Consolidate all these historical mines on the South Island, explore them, bring them back to production, sell for a huge profit. And the management team has done this multiple times before with over $11 billion worth of successful exits between them. So if this excites you like it does me, check out Rua Gold. Their ticker symbol is N-Z-A-U-F right there on the over-the-counter market in the U.S. and R-U-A in Canada. Now, if you want to get in on this, please only speculate with what you can afford to lose. But definitely check them out. And also, let me know what you think of stacking pre-33 gold like I am. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.